Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Mercury Retrograde Merlin Magic and Money Call. For all of y'all familiar with Mercury Retrograde or not familiar with Mercury Retrograde, you may have had quite a week, like Bridget called it wild, Bass called it intense. Digital equipment, electronics, communication, plans, travel, traffic jams, all kinds of things could have been playing a role in your life over the last few days. So let's take a few seconds, first of all, to just center ourselves, to give thanks and invoke the blessings of Lord Ganpati, whose day it is today here in India. We're also going to call upon the presence of Merlin. So we want to focus on our breath with our palms together in Namaskara Mudra. Eyes closed, head slightly bowed. When you focus on your breath, one breath is one inhale and one exhale. I just want you to become aware of how the air is going in and out of your nostrils. When we focus on our breath, because the mind has no choice but to quieten down, the body starts relaxing. So I want you to become aware of this relaxation as well as you return once again to your inhale and exhale. Become aware of the soles of your feet. Return to your breath. Become aware of the top of your head. Return to your breath. Become aware of your belly button, the center of you. Return to your breath. Stay with your breath as I do the super speedy prayer. Lord Ganpati Light, Lord Ganpati Light, Lord Ganpati Light, Lord Ganpati Light, Lord Ganpati Miracles Light, Lord Ganpati Miracles Light, Lord Ganpati Miracles Light, Lord Ganpati Miracles Light. Om Gan Ganpati Namaha. Om Gan Gan Pati Namaha. Om Gan Gan Pati Namaha. Om Gan Gan Pati Namaha. Magician Merlin Light. Magician Merlin Light. Magician Merlin Light. Magician Merlin Light. Magician Merlin Miracles Light. Magician Merlin Miracles Light. Magician Merlin. Miracles light, magician Merlin, miracles light. Touch Merlin with trust. Touch Merlin with trust. Touch Merlin with trust. Touch Merlin with trust. Receive magic with trust. Receive magic with trust. Receive magic with trust.
return to your breath while simultaneously being aware of the sensations and shifts taking place in the body. Maybe your body tensed up while I was saying the prayers. Maybe your body relaxed more. Whatever was going on, you are only the observer, Sakshi Bhav. By now your palms will be quite warm. So open them and cup your eyes slightly. Feel the heat go into your eyelids. Receive, receive, receive. Slowly start blinking. Open your eyes, close your eyes, open your eyes, close your eyes. Your warm palms are still cupping your eyes. And as you're blinking, you're going to bring your palms down. And keep your palms facing upward on your thighs. And while blinking, you're going to turn to your right. While blinking, you're going to turn to your left. While blinking, you're going to look down at your chest. While blinking, you're going to raise your chin upward. You're going to interlock your fingers, extend them forward, turn to the side, give yourself a nice upper body twist, turn to the opposite side, give yourself a nice upper body twist, rub your palms in glee, have a sip of water. And remind yourselves as to what a, a retrograde is. Some of you all already know you've been, you've been following retrograde work, you've been working with the decrees, you've been part of the groups that do decree work. Some of you all are brand new on the call. So very quickly, a retrograde is an optical illusion. It is a phenomenon of physics where we think a planet is going backward. It is exactly like when you are in a stationary train and there's another train next to you and then that train starts moving and you think you started moving backward. In the orbiting around the sun, which in our solar system, all planets do, there comes a point where Earth is moving and the other planet is also moving and at the correct distance, because retrogrades are about speed, distance, and size. You know, for example, you could be in a train and there could be a, a scooty next to you, right? Or a car next to you, and that starts suddenly, but you don't feel like you're going backward because the same size or almost same size of object is very important. When you don't have the same size of object, then distance is very important, which is why sometimes when you're traveling and you look out and it seems like that aeroplane is stationary, now, obviously, compared to the size of our car and compared to the size of that aeroplane, there is no comparison. Right? That, that aeroplane is so much bigger and it's traveling at 33,000 kilometers per hour. And we are, if you're, if you're in a traffic jam in my city, then you're struggling to be at 50 kilometers per hour. But, this, but the distance then makes a difference. And therefore, when Earth is like traveling, and by the way, Earth is also rotating, but right now I'm taking, the, I'm taking the revolution around the sun. And the other planet is also traveling. There comes a point in both their orbits where it seems like this planet is stationary. It's not, it's an optical illusion. It's Einstein's theory of relativity. In that stationariness is when the planet starts to prepare how it's going to be different. It's not actually, but we get to think that it's going to be different because at the moment that time has passed because like when the car goes forward and you're looking at the plane, you do then see the plane traveling, right? It's no longer stationary. Exactly like that. 
once the stationary point is over, it feels like because of our particular speed and their particular speed, it feels like we are moving backward, they are moving backward. We are being impacted with a backward movement. And of course, because we are on Earth, we can't tell that Earth is retrograde. But from the point of view, relative to another planet, Earth would also be retrograding. When this happens, the way a planet affects us changes. Now, as an Indian, I just take it for granted that every Indian knows that planetary positions and planetary positions in our horoscope is how our horoscope is made. Every planet in our solar system plays a role in our life. Every planet governs a certain mindset, a certain attitude, a body part, financial flows. Every planet has a role to play. When a planet goes backwards, which is it seems, it feels like it's retrograding, the planet's energies also then impact us differently. A retrograde is a time of challenge. Things come up, things happen. There is upheaval, there is chaos, there is madness, and there is no more planet bigger, there is no other planet more chaotic, mental, and mad than Mercury. When every planet goes retrograde, and right now, by the way, Pluto is also retrograde, and Pluto is the smallest planet in our solar system, by some not even considered a planet, but we will, because this retrograde has shown, has shown to have very tangible results and work. So the second smallest is Mercury. So two of our tiniest planets are retrograde, but you know how small atom bombs are, right? Atom bombs are tiny. You know how small a CS4 is? CS4 is an explosive. It's this much. It's like a plasticine. So tiny, potent atom bomb planets are retrograde right now. When other planets go retrograde, and also depending on whether they are close to us, which is inner, or far from us, which is outer, also, they have a certain result on our life. Mercury, Venus, Mars, these are close by planets. And therefore, they affect our daily life. Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, these are further off planets. Therefore, they impact us generationally. So whatever comes up in an outer planet retrograde is long term, is global. Whatever happens with an inner planet is daily, short term, but there is no action without consequence and result. Therefore, even in the changes taking place in our daily life, something long term is also shifting for us. Right now, our future is changing because Mercury is in retrograde, in Pluto retrograde. And Mercury, you know, he's, a very, he's a very young boy. He's a messenger, he's swift, he's fast, he's communication, he's thoughts, he's agility, he is curious, he's an explorer, he's an adventurer. You know, he likes to take things apart just to see how they're working. He's a mischief maker, he's jovial, he's happy, he's a prankster, loves it when you slip on a banana peel. Like he's, he laughs, he giggles, it's like he, 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 that's him. When he goes retrograde, because he's so young, because he's quite, quite the child, when he retrogrades, he retrogrades to more childishness. So I'm going to explain this. What does a child want? What does every child want? And not just want, what does every child need? You need... You need play. Yes, every child needs to play. Every child needs to sleep. It is, in fact, the most optimal, optimal amount of time, which is best for a child's growth, is eight hours of play. Did you know this? Love and attention, absolutely. Love, attention, expression. 
when Mercury retrogrades and he becomes more childish, he retrogrades to a child seeking attention, but negatively. Because to a child, it doesn't matter how you get that attention. How a child gets what a child needs and wants, a child does not care about dharma, does not care about conscience, does not care about integrity. When a child wants something, it doesn't matter to the child that he is on his back, his hands and his legs are in the air, he's in the middle of a showroom and his parents are so embarrassed and everybody's staring at him. He will do that. He wants what he wants. So when Mercury, the youngest of us, by the way, the youngest part of us is Mercury. He's very charming. He's talkative, shares everything. He likes to share everything. He'll tell you everything. Mercury will share everything because Mer Mercury loves to speak. When he is normal, when he is sane in his forward motion, he also likes to listen. But in his retrograde, in his tantruminess, in his, I don't care, I want what I want, you better give me what I want, the negative attention that begins is where our journey starts because when he retrogrades remember he's the child we retrograde to the children we were when he goes backward and what is backward backward is regression we go backward too if as a child you were studious and serious in mercury retrograde you won't want to do anything except sign up for workshops if you were an active child, you liked playing, you loved going out, you loved hanging out with your friends, in Mercury retrograde, you will get very impatient that things are not going the way you want them to, but you're not getting to play as much. Everybody's not listening to you. You want to play den, den, and, and you want to play uh, gilly danda, and everybody else wants to play ludo. You will get very impatient. If as a child, you were more prone to anxiety, and fear and stress, in Mercury retrograde, you will find that no matter what is happening, you're getting anxious very easily. You're getting stressed out very easily. The smallest thing is becoming a problem. If you were, as a child, able to get what you wanted because you learned how to lie, because you learned how to manipulate, because you learned how to demand, that if I just stand here and start screaming loudly and if I make sure I do it in front of relatives and other people, my parents will quickly rush to give me what I want, you will find yourself having thoughts and strategies around how you can get what you want with manipulation, with lies, with trickery. Because the trickster energy, the liar energy, the con man energy, is the lowest vibration, youngest, most immature vibration of Mercury. If by any chance, as a child, you were bullied, you will find that in a Mercury retrograde, you are attracting more bullies. Like they're just showing up in your space. And if they are not showing up in your space, you might find yourself being a bully, either with yourself like pushing yourself or with those younger in your family because Mercury is that child. How you are with your child, your inner child, your outer child is how well you are going to get through Mercury retrograde. His name in Sanskrit, does anybody know his name in Sanskrit? Or somebody said, I can be in a pool of, even eating mangoes is retrograde. I loved eating them. Uh, Radha says that, absolutely. You will find, you will find how, if you just, if you just use this particular, okay, I'm going to come back to this sentence. Yes, Dr. Dr. Radha, it is bud. You know what bud is? So in Hindi, we have a word called dimag. And dimag is mind. But bud and by the way, Bud is also in place for Lord Buddha. Bud 
comes from buddhi, or rather buddhi comes from bud, and buddhi is intelligence. Buddhi is rational. Buddhi is logic. Buddhi is awareness. Buddhi is mindfulness. Buddhi is how awake and woke you are. And again, in Hindi, in Sanskrit, we have this phrase that says, buddhi brushed. And then we bang our head. Like, you know, don't know what this child was thinking of, ran off the road without looking left and right. When will this boy learn buddhi brush? Like we just like, so exasperated, like, like this. And by the way, this, without hitting yourself, is a fantastic first body mudra to go through Mercury retrograde because this awakens buddhi. Your dimag is there. Your mind is always there. But are you mindful? Do you have buddhi? If as a child you had a tendency to say, I don't want to go to school. I only want to play and kick up a fuss and then never study. And then even though the teachers would say something and your parents would say, if you don't study, how will you get into a good college? If you don't get into a good college, how will you get a job? You couldn't have cared less. You just wanted your cricket ball and to be out there you will find again that you're having trouble sitting down and working. You'll just want to go out, you'll want to hang out with your friends. Whatever is your definition of play right now is what you will want to do. And of course, because Buddha is in retrograde, Mercury is in retrograde, some brush is taking place. Some, some backward motion is happening. Forgetfulness, mindlessness, Glasses on her head, walking into the room, wondering, where are my glasses? Even, even better than that, talking on the phone, walking into the room, wondering where your phone is. Have you had that happen? It's like, it's in your hand, it's on your head, but where is your mind? Right? Your mind is always there, but obviously not present and available. Buddhi, that wokeness of us, keeping that together, is a little difficult in Mercury retrograde. But if we will just gently tap our hairline, they're just on our hairline, on our hairline, just on our hairline. So first of all, little buddhi will come. And this, I'll also say this, some of us are old souls, some of us are middle-aged souls, some of us are young souls. The younger a soul, the more Buddhi brushed in Mercury retrograde. If you know your horoscope and your horoscope has a Mercury in retrograde, which is, I think it's called Vakrit in Hindi. If there is already a retrograde in your horoscope, then in the retrograde, your Buddhi will be fantastic. It's the rest of the year that you will have to worry about. Right now, so right, for example, Malvika says, writing for my local paper, excited about three online courses and urge to paint very much. And again, something in here tells me that she liked going to school, that she liked studying, that there were some teachers that whose pet she may have been. Would this be correct, Malvika? And again, however you have been as a child is what is going to show up. Now, you have been a child, there is a part of you that will always be a child, innocent, naive, gullible. In a Mercury retrograde, especially if you have gone through a childhood that has had lies and manipulation, parents are saying one thing, doing another. You will attract people you can't trust. You will attract the smooth talker. You will attract the con man. You will attract the person who will show up and say, you know what, if you invest you are 100,000 here, you will guaranteed get 200,000. They show up maximum in Mercury retrograde. The active child, the playful child, the I just want to play day and night, don't ask me to eat, don't ask me to sleep. I just want to keep moving and moving and moving. This child who needs adrenaline, who needs excitement, will then start attracting the exes. Traumatic excess, because digress for only two minutes. In the body, the response to stress is the exact same response to excitement. In stress, we have adrenaline. In excitement, we have adrenaline. 
and in the emotional immaturity of Mercury retrograde, where remember, Buddhi is brushed. You are not being as logical and as rational and as commonsensical and as woke as you normally are. You will not know the difference between somebody who has become an ex for a reason. Suddenly they will look very attractive because there's so much excitement, because there was so much stress, because the trauma of drama can be very addictive. And therefore, this desire to get back in touch with somebody who you shouldn't be getting back in touch with needs for your buddhi to be working properly. Otherwise, we become the version of the child who ran across the street without looking left and right, only to have his mother raving and ranting over there and saying, Kya kar rahe ho? Dikh nahi rahe. Kya? Oh God. So, and then that part of us, when Mercury retrograde is over, turns around, becomes our parents and says, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? And unfortunately, not your fault. You were actually not thinking because Mercury retrograde will put away your normal rationale until you come for a Mercury retrograde support call. Until you are aware that every year Mercury goes retrograde. And by the way, he's the only planet that goes retrograde more than once because he's so small and he's so quick and he's so, and he's so tiny, tiny, small, quick, that he can do this more than any other planet. Three times in the year, he will go retrograde. This year, four times. He already went retrograde in February. He's going to go retrograde in September. He'll go retrograde again in December. So four times we are going to be reminded of buddhi, being mindful. But how, are you, how do you be mindful? Because your instant nature is to return to the child you were. I want to be quiet. I want to study. I really don't want to do anything. I don't want to be disturbed. I want to play. Don't ask me to do anything else. Don't ask me to be responsible. I just want what I want. I don't know what I want, but I wanted yesterday. The impatient child. I want money. I don't care how I make it. I'm just going to do whatever it needs to do to make money, to get money, because money is playing a role because Pluto retrograde has shown up. Pluto is the, he's known as the planet of death, but the planet of death is metaphorically, it's like the death card in tarot. He's the planet of transformation. He is the planet of upheavals and he is an outer planet. So there are global changes taking place. There are collective consciousnesses upgrades taking place. And this year, Pluto is about money, is about value, is about worth, is about priorities. Do you prefer money over people? Do you, will you choose people over money? What do you do in this relationship with money? And do you need to heal it, transmute it, upgrade it? And many thanks to Alina Thadani, who reminded me of a word that I've never really used on my calls. But it's a word I love. And it's a word, I don't know why I've never used it. It's a word that's used in, in some other people's programs as well. And that word is alchemy. You know, alchemy is the conversion of, of, of inner self, of course, it is the conversion metal to gold and not just any metal. We are not converting silver to gold, lead to gold. And lead is considered to be the most, and I'm gonna purposely use this word and tell me if you have a reaction to this, is the dumbest of metals. He is the most densest of metals. He is the donkey of metals. The conversion of lead to gold is alchemy. And so, although this is not the brand new decree alert that I was, that I was mentioned in my post, but I'm gonna just give you this. So what we want, first of all, is that our emotional immaturity be handleable, right? Because when Mercury retrograde comes around, you can forget about being 30, 40, 50, 60 year old, you are, four years old, five years old, six years old, seven years old. It takes over, right? Because buddhi, buddhi is a 
aspect of education, which by the way, also Mercury handles, is an aspect of learning. It's an aspect of growth. It's an aspect of being a student of life or a student of academia or a student of relationships, whatever it is that excites you to be a student of. And therefore, buddhi is also a function of age. You do not expect buddhi from a four-year-old. They have mind, they have consciousness, they have, but not buddhi. The buddhi of a 40-year-old is incomparable to a buddhi of a 15-year-old. And while you can have, you can have very emotionally mature 15-year-olds, very sorted 20-year-olds, even then, there is no substitute for life's experience. And especially if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to be younger and wiser, that attitude of learning, that student mind, again, handled by Mercury, is what brings us the buddhi. So for us to make sure that our buddhi is bigger than our emotional maturity, immaturity, let us first clear a little bit of our emotional immaturity. And then we're going to do a little bit of work with alchemy. So excited. Emotional immaturity, you can leave now. Emotionally immature, you can leave now. I'm also going to introduce you to the one word decree, which is also a diagnostic. It's a diagnostic as well as a healer. So it's a diagnostic, it's a cure and a preventive. So for example, if you, if you were wondering that if you have, for example, something going on with your thyroid and thyroid again, handled by mercury, if you have something going on, let us say with your blood pressure or with diabetes, and you want to check what it is, this particular decree will give you an idea whether you have it, might have it, if it's present at all. And simultaneously, it will start transmuting it. It will start alchemizing it. Because if you look at the result of a decree, it is really what's going on. It is either alchemizing, transmuting the energy state, or it is releasing that energy state and returning us to our gold, white, bright, light, right, 100% divine nature. So the single word decree for you to diagnose, like sometimes you wonder, right? Is it COVID? Is it not COVID? Uh, is, do I have the virus? Do I have arthritis? What's going on? You know, like we all have our own share of hypochondria, right? And by the way, hypochondria, also a mercury thing. Hypochondria is the fear of being ill. It's the fear of being unwell. And you can, and you can take, look at all kinds of symptoms and say, oh my God, I'm dying. So hypochondria, Again, a mercurial symptom. The word, the single word decree is goodbye. If you say goodbye, now let us say you suspect, uh, let us go with thyroid. Let us say that you suspect you have hypothyroid. Hypothyroid is hypo means less and hypo means too much. So let us say that you are suspecting your thyroid is not functioning at optimal, at optimal. You would say, goodbye, hypothyroid. Just say it three times. Goodbye, hypothyroid. Goodbye, hypothyroid. And see if there's a reaction. One reaction you want to check definitely is the reaction in the throat because that's where the thyroid is. But the throat is never just alone, right? It's also attached to your jaws, to the back of your neck, to the back of your shoulders, to your shoulders, to your chest, to your solar plexus. So this particular area, you would check if there is a reaction. So goodbye, hypothyroid. And let us say you are having a reaction, which means that either it is already present. If it's already present, you will, you will feel all kinds of movements taking place as the body immediately responds to the decree. Or if you have, like, like let us say you have a very gentle like it made you feel a little better, it eased up something. It means the possibility of hypothyroid was there. It may have even just been starting, but you caught it. Because goodbye is the diagnostic as well as the cure. And you will just go on with this. For those of y'all completely new to the decrease, welcome to the fastest 
easiest, simplest, gentlest, transformative, manifestive tool in the world. Decrees are power statements. Decrees are mantras in English, although they can be translated in other languages as well. Decrees are cosmic commands. When you give a decree, you are giving a command and your body, your mind, your emotions, your finances, your spirituality responds instantly. There is nothing faster. So I'm going to use goodbye for emotional immaturity. And I'm just going to say it five times. Five times because the number of mercury is five. Goodbye, emotional immaturity. 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 And I'm also gonna do the other version, which is emotionally immature. Goodbye, 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 emotionally immature. And you will check what is the reaction you are having. How is it making you feel to hear it? When I give a decree, you are most welcome to say it along with me or just sit back and receive and check the results for yourself. Your awareness will tell you what's happening. I'm getting tensed up. I'm feeling easier. I'm feeling warm on one side. Something is going on in my ears. There is a tingling in my feet. Your buddhi will tell you your reaction to this. How much emotional immaturity are we dealing with? Okay, we will, okay. We will ease up because there is some dizziness for Kulpri. Pranati says, felt nothing. Lina says, feeling stressed, chewing my nails. Nishna says, heart is racing. Muniba has got lots of yawns. Bhavna has got lots of yawns. And Pranati says, I know that I have RA. If I say goodbye, will it increase the pain momentarily? Because what is in the body, when it leaves the body, your awareness will tell you it's leaving momentarily. Please go ahead and definitely try it. If you're on medication, take your medication and try it so that, you, so that the pain doesn't increase. Pat says, I'm on thyroid meds. Resistant with the decree, though I'll never get thought, I'll never get off these. Removed, erased, reframed, alchemized. So this, the alchemized, okay, I thought this, I'll never get off these. So some part of us is saying, listen, this is my support system. This is my crutch. Don't ask me to find other, other places of power and strength and healing in my body when this is so much simpler. And by the way, Mercury does not like hard work. He doesn't mind studying. He loves exams, especially because he's already studied. He doesn't like hard work because for Mercury, it's about play. I want it to be easy. And, and that is why when things don't go our way in a Mercury retrograde because there are delays and there are traffic jams and, and nobody's really listening to us because everybody's on their own emotional Mercury retrograde trip, then at that point, it feels like this is such a big problem. You know, this is such a headache, you know. This is not easy for me. This is not play. And at that point, one of the, one of the most beautiful things to bring your buddhi back, to bring your wokeness back, is to ask, is it a problem or is it an inconvenience? Because for the emotionally immature, it is going to be a problem. For the buddhi, woke, higher, older, younger, wiser adult, it's an inconvenience. How will you then look at it? It's an inconvenience. I wish it hadn't happened, but you know what? I'll do what it takes. Let's get this over and done with. You are now not stuck in the story. You are now not slipping up on the banana peel that Mercury has thrown your way. In fact, you're turning around and said, Mercury, I know what you're doing, dude. I know what you're doing. I'm on top of this. So in a Mercury retrograde, first of all, goodbye, emotional immaturity. Goodbye, emotionally immature. Whatever the reaction, the reaction is the reaction of growing up. 
if there is ease, there is relief, like somebody said relief and then, and then the messages went very quickly. So I didn't see the name. If there is relief, there is relief to growing up because let us also, let us also accept this, my darlings. None of us have had a happily ever after childhood. We've had the evil stepmother. We have had, we have had the spindle in our finger and dropped dead, not dead, and fallen into coma for 100 years, right? We have had the loss of our mothers or our fathers and been sent like Cinderella to work and work harder and work even more in the kitchens and the basements while all the time hoping that we will find our Prince Charming. So there's a part of us that would like not to grow up. And there is a part of us that says, you know what? I know the joy of growing up. I know that there is more power to me to make all my dreams come true if I just don't keep sitting and waiting and hoping and praying and wishing that they will come true. So there is an empowerment to growth, which might feel very frightening right now, and that's okay. You are on this call, not because you have to study and come first tomorrow. You're on this call only for the few seeds to be sown and for you to handle and ride the wave of Mercury retrograde and the challenges it brings because he is mental. What we want is to not become mental. And when we are not very emotionally mature, we easily become mental. We become the wah, 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 nothing ever works for me, nobody ever loves me, nobody listening to me, nobody cares about me, nobody understands me, cut, 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 not gonna do anything. You know, we become like that. And then it becomes worse for us because if we are adults, but throwing a tantrum, if we are adults, but being needy and clingy, if we are adults, but waiting for somebody else to show up and make this happen, we're getting complaining and cribby and tantrumy, that energy in a retrograde tightens. And the next thing you know, your entire day is going a certain way. Nobody's ever had a good day when they've been stressed and negative. Nobody, you cannot. It's when you break out of that, that your day turns around, that everybody around you turns around. And so, goodbye, emotional immaturity. Goodbye, emotionally immature. Emotional immaturity, alchemized. Emotionally immature, alchemized. Health, alchemized. Mind, alchemized. Wealth, alchemized. Body, alchemized. Emotions, alchemized. Judgments, alchemized. Limiting beliefs, alchemized. How is it making you feel to hear it? Pulpreet, how is the dizziness? Pros and cons of being born during a Mercury retro. So it's, uh, it's in your chart. The, the pros and cons of being born in a Mercury retrograde are exactly Exactly like this. When you're born in a Mercury retrograde, the tendency to slip into very young, very childish, foolish, gullible, naive behaviors will be very high. Because a lot of us mistake innocence for youngness. We, we mistake innocence for youthfulness. We, and therefore want to hold on to it. But innocence, innocence is what makes us think, oh, you know what? They're not really manipulating me. This get rich scheme, you know, I'm so excited, this can work. It's our innocence. But innocence at a higher vibration is wisdom. It's emotional maturity. And therefore being born in a mercury retrograde or having mercury retrograde in your chance, the tendency to be gullible is a little higher. But there is always an answer, there's always a solution. And why fear when the decrees are near? You know that the work is the work of buddhi, bud, mind, mindfulness, wakefulness, thoughtfulness. And when I say thoughtfulness, because only when you're mindful can you be thoughtful. And thoughtful is not mental chatter, that you know what, I'm, I'm really cool at being thoughtful because I, there, is, there is no shortage of thoughts in my mind. Like I'm just crowded and houseful with, no, sorry. Thoughtful is consideration for others. 
Mercury at his best vibration always has, even though he is funny and he's charming and he would love to see everybody laugh and he'll do anything for a laugh. But there is a thoughtfulness because Buddhi is there. In his retrograde, we become insensitive and others become insensitive to us as well. We become thoughtless. Thoughtless meaning care less. And care less is another word from our childhood. Did we have parents who cared about us or did we have parents who cared less about us? It is not a child's job to be careful. It is a parent's job. And therefore, we could also end up being careless in this time. Careless when taking a look at the contract. Careless when making a decision around a new project, a new offer, a new opportunity, a new house, a new car. We can become careless. And you know, teachers like to say this you know, to their students, so careless, so many careless spelling mistakes without realizing that carelessness in a child is an immediate attribute of the care less that he is getting at home. If you have been a cared for lesser child, there is a tendency to be careless in Mercury retrograde. If you have grown up much faster than, than required because there was trauma, because there was drama, because you had no choice but to let go being the child and quickly become the adult, then you will go the other extreme and become excessively controlling. Because excessively controlling is, I will be careful about everything. I will be careful that my pencil point is always this much and that my pencil is always placed like this and that my, that my, that my laptop is always placed like this and that I am always placed like this and I am always sitting like this and everybody around me also should be exactly like this. You can get excessively careful. Excessive careful, excessive control is a recipe for OCD. And you will find your maximum OCDs and superstitions coming up in a Mercury retrograde. Again, small digress. All retrogrades are challenging because they reveal something. A outer planet retrograde reveals something a little more gently, but definitely reveals something. Two years back, is it two years or three years back? Two years back, all the outer planets went thard, 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 like, like dominoes. They went retrograde one after the other, 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 other. And we had the virus. You know, the whole world changed. And while I wouldn't call that gentle, it was still, it was still nudgy. Hey, check this. Correct this. Come on, come on, come on. You got to take a look at this. this is, you can do this better. You got this. Mercury will not give us any such choice. It will just be dhanam, fell off the chair. Whether I fell off my chair uh, laughing or whether I fell off my chair because I was sitting down and already I have a prankster in my family, my son's totally mercurial, who moved out the chair from behind me. That dharam is, is so big in a mercury retrograde and that is why the dharam also reveals a lot in emotional immaturity, gets very difficult to handle it. But if you've already been doing your work, if you've already been on the healing journey, some buddhi will stay. All of it will not get crushed. So some buddhi will tell you, you know what? I get negative very quickly. I take myself too seriously. So I fell down. Everybody had a laugh. I felt so ashamed. I felt so humiliated. But maybe I could have also laughed. Some answers come to us. So alchemized, alchemizing ourselves. Mercury retrograde, alchemized. Mercury retrograde, goodbye. Mercury retrograde, you can leave now. And one of the things that we love hearing, we love hearing at any age, but most important, most crucial as a child is our brand new fresh decree coming up. I'm smiling and you, so will you. The moment you hear this decree, you're going to smile, even though I'm going to be taking it on for negativities. In fact, give me, give me something you're dealing with. 
are you dealing with an OCD? Are you dealing with stress? Are you dealing with impatience? Are you dealing with frustration? I, what are you dealing with? Give me a word. So irritation, stress, judgment, anger. I'm very OCD, worry. Okay. So let us go with, okay, I've got quite a bit of worry and anxiety. Do you know what? I'm going to take worry. I'm going to take anxiety for yourself. Just check on a scale of zero to 10, where zero is not at all. And 10 is very high, even hundred if you want. How much is your worry? How much is your anxiety? How much is your OCD? How much is your irritation? How much is your loneliness? How much is your excess weight? How much is your confusion? How much is your frustration? Excellent. The numbers have started to come in. And by the way, all of these words and, and emotions and feelings you are mentioning, this is typically Mercury retrograde revelations. These are the mirrors that get shown to us in the Mercury retrograde. So well done, everybody. Delighted that you know it's a frustration, it's an impatience, it's an irritation, it's a worry because, you know, only if you know what it is, can you do something about it. We cannot take a cough syrup for a cold. So, well done. Superb. All of these numbers, keep all of these numbers in mind, please. Right? You know your number. Okay. I'm going to give you the decree. And I'm going to go with worry. And I'm also going to do it for anxiety. And even though I'm doing it for worry and anxiety, it will work for whatever it is that is your most predominant mercury retrograde symptom. Ready? Yes? Sip of water. I am the worst at telling a joke, you know, because I'm one of those people who's so delighted with the joke that they will start laughing before. Like forget getting to the punchline and laughing, start laughing in the middle of the joke. And this particular decree, there's such a goodness to this particular decree, of course, to all the decrees. And the charm, the mercurialness, the high vibration mercury of this decree is that this decree it's used for both curing as well as enhancing. Meaning I don't have to have a separate decree for attracting something good and a separate decree for letting go of something not good, which we have. We have a set of decrees which are primarily for clearing and we have a set of decrees which are primarily to attract what we want. But this particular decree works both ways. It's intelligent, super, 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 super bright. And by the way, super bright, intelligence, genius levels, again, all of these have to do with how good and strong Mercury is in your houses, in your horoscope and in your chart. Here goes. <laughs> it's two words. And then I address what we're dealing with. And then I complete it with two more words of a decree. Okay, so first of all, there is worry and anxiety. So worry, you can leave now. Anxiety, you can leave now. Goodbye worries, goodbye anxiety. Goodbye worried, goodbye anxious. Anxiety, alchemized. Worries, alchemized. And take a look, there'll be some shift somewhere, some number change will happen and now, Good job, anxieties. Good job, anxieties. Isn't it making you smile already? Like some part of you is so pleased to be hearing good job, even though I'm saying good job, anxieties. Good job, anxious. Good job, worries. Good job, worried. Good job, worries. Good job, worried. Well, done. Try it. What is your number for your irritation, frustration, impatience, anxiety, worry? Good job. Well done. And even what somebody's jumping with joy, could be just jumping with joy. Three is as I said, felt it in my stomach, solar plexus, feeling sleepy from nine to six. All right. 
close your eyes, ma. For Manisha, wherever she was, it's gone to zero. Mandy says, yes, smiling. Um, frustration, like what frustration? Where is the frustration? It's incredible, right? And we know the one thing we want is the mindfulness. We want the mental awareness. We want buddhi. And then we want some more buddhi. So see what happens with this. Good job, buddhi. Good job, buddhi. Good job, buddhi. Well done. What is happening in your head? What is happening around your eyes? What is happening in your temples? What is happening at the back of your head? What is going on? Nivedita, Nivedita said, of course, most serious person to will. Will what? Nivedita, I'm so sorry. I missed something. Sangamitra is happy and smiling. Uh, Anandita is feeling sleepy. Close your eyes for a few seconds. Now, sleepiness is trauma has gone to the head and your conscious mind needs to shut down for a few moments. That's all it is. Filled with light, says Heidi. Kulpreet says third eye chakra activated and activated, by the way, is a single decree word. Merlin magic activated. Merlin magic activated. Merlin miracles activated. Money miracles activated. Good job, money. Good job, money. Good job, money. Well done. Good job, more money. Good job, more money. Good job, more money. Well done. Good job, multiple money flows. Good job, multiple money flows. Good job, multiple money flows. Well done. Nivedita, you have sent me something in Hindi. Bajrang Ban Path. Okay. Path, you have sent. All right. Is, does that mean Lord Hanumanji's mantras? No, don't worry. It's fine. Pranita says, felt something in my throat. Okay. With the money or with the others? Because we can get very negative, very down, very dense, very stressed in Mercury retrograde. The, there is a word. It's a word and it is a sound. Of course, all words are sounds. But this word is also a, the, the, the sound of a sound. And this particular one has to do with organ sounds. Like all our organs respond a particular way to a certain sound, to one unique sound in particular, and more of this and organ sounds and money is coming up on 19th of May on the U Wealth Delhi Summit, where we are going to be laughing our way to the bank. I'm gonna be laughing our way to the bank because the sound is the money sound I'm gonna give you. And I'm giving you this money sound on one condition. Can you please receive this condition? Can you say yes? Thank you. I saw two people nodding their head. I, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And my condition is just this. On the home telegram group, if you're not already part of the home telegram group, the home telegram group is where we do a lot of conversation Daily, almost daily decrees, you're updated with what's coming up next with the decrees. On the home telegram group, let me know what happens today and in a day. That's all, that's my condition. Yes? Okay. Laughing the way, all the way to the bank, laughing my way to the bank, laughing to the bank, the word is ha, ha, ha. That is it. And you see what happens with money. Very quickly, I will tell you that money or money messages can come. And money messages are guidances, intuitions, opportunities, partnerships, gifts, compliments, treats, savings, discounts. Like, for example, being on this call. This call is, is a 5,500 rupee USD 77 call. So in a sense, you have already received a gift, but this is, not the, this is not the message I'm talking about. After this call is through or right now while the call is completing, you see what happens. We had, uh, we had somebody find 50,000 in cash in six hours. We had somebody receive 100,000 in about eight hours. 
we had a delayed payment that was supposed to come one and a half months later because apparently she has a, a system where the payments in the very next day the payment came and not just because of the sound we had also done good job money we had also done good job money flows we had also done good job multiple money flows good job well done I'm also going to take two minutes, my lovelies, to remind you of the three golden principles of life. Number one, God helps those who help themselves. Number two, as within, so without. What is going on inside, what shows up for you inside, will start translating what's going on outside. But when you have buddhi, when you're working on buddhi, when you're working on mindfulness, when you're working on awarefulness, I'm aware of how I'm thinking right now, you change your internal reality and therefore you are able to change your external world as well. And number three, all action has a limited, finite, unique result to you. And what that means is you cannot keep running 24 by seven, 366, 150 years. Every action is finite. Therefore, the result of every action is also finite. What you want is to continue the process. What you want is to activate the mercurial student mind because the mercurial student mind will bring you back to God helps those who help themselves as within, so without. But you know what? Money showed up, money message showed up. I'm feeling so much better. I'm not feeling so cranky and irritable anymore. I don't have to do anything else. You do. You showed up today for today's call. You will see a result. You will feel better. Your energies will feel purer. They will feel lighter. Not the catch, catch, match, match, you know, houseful, mental clutter, like crowded with thoughts. You will feel easier. You will feel like tomorrow and day after is that much more handleable. You will feel like you are more trusting of how you are going to make certain choices and decisions for the next three weeks. No big choices, no big decisions, no buying that 51 inch TV, no drunk dialing the X. That is going to be a little easier for you to hold back, pause, reflect. Do I want this? Does the child in me want this? Is this a problem? Is this an inconvenience? Can I just say good job to whatever is going on? How is everybody's anxiety, worry, frustration now? And by the way, by the way, everybody, good job, well done. Immediately puts us in lightness, right? immediately puts us in the flow because the decrees are a language of light. They're not a light language. They're a language of light, meaning they bring you to lightness very quickly. And lightness is our true nature. So it brings us back home very fast, brings us, brings us to dignity, reminds us that things can be easier. Things can be better. Things can be happier. That even if things have happened a certain way in my childhood, I've gotten to where I've gotten, I no longer need to be defined by that. I can, along with my child, go ahead and have another better, brighter future. Whatever shows up in Mercury retrograde, please know that this is just your younger you, your little girl, your little boy saying, listen to me, listen to me, I want this. Let me have five ice creams for dinner. You know what? Have five ice creams for dinner because I'm also going to show you three particular mudras. There's one, there's just this, very gently, very gently. You're sitting down to do some work just for a few seconds, just for a few seconds, just tap your hairline, just tap your hairline. Hmm. Sorted. My brain is now, now in the correct position. Because Mercury handles the nervous system, and children are very nervous by nature, right? Because buddhi is not yet established. It's their nervousness can make us feel very scared, anxious, worried. Too much anxiety and worry becomes irritation and frustration. So this 
too much nervous energy in the body. For that, the finger is the index finger. Mercury's finger is the little finger. And by the way, we're doing some other fun magic work on our home Telegram group and our home Facebook group as well. Please join us for that. I won't change direction of conversation to talk to you about that. But some magic work is going on there as well. And over there, I have asked you to work with your little finger because that is the finger of Mercury. And this week, next three and a half weeks belongs to Mercury. However, when you know that you have a tendency to be nervous or when you have a tendency to be hyper, hyper is also when we get impatient, then we get irritated very quickly, we get annoyed very quickly, you know, then we want to snap at everybody. Then we are going to do just this. Now, this is the Gyan Mudra tapping. This is Gyan Mudra. Gyan is wisdom. I shouldn't say wisdom. I should say knowledge. Knowledge in action is wisdom. You can know a lot of things, but if you don't put it into action, it's not wisdom. Then it's just, it's just mental impotence. You have it, but you can't do anything with it. So Gyan Mudra, the Mudra of knowledge, also Mudra of Buddhi, you just start tapping. You don't have to tap for more than two, three minutes or however long you can tap and the rest of the fingers can be relaxed. In Gyan Mudra, Gyan Mudra has to be held 15 minutes, 45 minutes because Gyan Mudra is also what we do in meditation, right? Sages do this in meditation. When you do Mudra tapping, you don't have to. Two, three minutes is enough. You move on to the next finger. This is Saturn's finger. This is karma. Move on to the next finger. It's the finger of the sun. The finger of being overweight. The finger of earth. The finger of sadness. The finger of emotions. And you move to the finger of water. To the finger of mercury. And, and even faster than just tapping your fingers is doing this. You know, I don't know who... Who taught us or introduced us to this? You've seen, maybe your mothers and grandmothers have done it. I've seen women in the metros do, you know, they rub their nails, like you rub your nails. And this is like an easier version of rubbing your nails. That's it. Does everybody have their currency note with them? You do? Oh, this is my Mercury retrograde. I forgot to bring my currency. So give me 30 seconds. Actually, you know what? Show me your currency notes. You're going to take it in your palm and this is what you're going to do. Show me how you can do this with your currency. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Good job, money. Good job, money flows. Good job, multiple money flows. Well done. I'm saying it only once. You can say it a few more times. Good job financial insecurities. Good job, financial stress. Good job, financial worries. Good job, financial stuckness, because it is the same decree and that's it. Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays are money days. Wednesday is also Mercury's day. Wednesday is also Lord Buddha's day, it's Buddha's day. Wednesday is also Lord Vishnu's day, which is he is the God of sustenance. The God that tells us how to take this much money and extend it to that much. Like all women, all mothers have very good Vishnu energies, right? Because a mother, the way a mother can budget, the way a mother can make that little bowl of rice inclusive for guests who show up along with her family. That Vishnu energy on Wednesdays from on the home group tomorrow and till Mercury Merc is retrograde, you will be reminded to do your, your index finger tapping just a few minutes for as long as you can. If after that you just want to stop and close your eyes and go into meditation, please do. The other mudra, Abhaya Varada. Now, Abhaya Varada is a schizophrenic mudra. 
because Abhaya Varada is on one hand releasing fears and nervousness, on the other hand, it is receiving boons and blessings. Like normally in a mudra, we always use both hands. In a mudra, same thing is happening on both sides. On both sides, you are using the meridian of the finger, the energy of the finger, the, planet, the planetary space of the finger. And by the way, each finger handles 14,400 functions, each finger. Like I can barely name two, but 14,400 functions are handled by each finger. When we do this, and you remember this game as a child? It's an element balancer. It's a planet harmonizer. Maybe you don't feel like doing the Gyan Mudra tapping, the finger tappings. Maybe you just want to play. Maybe you're watching a movie and you are harmonizing your planets, your grahas, your doshas, your elements. How cool, right? And this is because the tips of the finger carry maximum power. And therefore, if I can also just activate what's going on in the tip of my fingers, yes, absolutely, we can do this also. We can do Hakini also. Hakini is just this, and Hakini is a mental, mental mudra, also very good at, yeah, absolutely, third eye activation or at the base, at the start of your nose is Hakini. Hakini is for memory and concentration and focus. Fantastic. If you have adult ADHD, please don't ask your child if he, has a, he or she has ADHD to do this. It is, too much, uh, it is too much to sit in one place and do this. But if you, have, if you have a tendency to forget, if you have a tendency to ask for your phone while talking on it, this mudra is for you. And Hakini can also be reduced. Now imagine, right, you're holding this you need a little bit of support for your elbows. You can also hold it a little below. You can keep your elbows on your armchair. But imagine Hakini, I get the benefits of 15 to 40 minutes of Hakini by just doing this. And you've seen also academicians, thinkers, researchers, scholars. You know, you ask them a question and they start doing this because they are in a hurry, because they want a speedster result to getting the correct answer. This, again, no more than two, three minutes or for however long you remember. You do not have to make it a ritual that I must do this five minutes every day. You want to make it a ritual? Make it a ritual once Mercury Retro is over. Because in two or three minutes, Mercury is going to say, I'm bored. Please, next shiny new object, show me. So be mindful. Let the child be. We're not going to punish the child. All of that, enough has happened. We're not going to discipline the child beyond firm, loving discipline. Because all of that has also happened. Every child has either been sent out of class or caned or punished, sent to the principal's office. We've all gone through it. We don't have to do this again. And we definitely want to have different rules for our child at this time. So Hakini, this, but Abhaya Varada, Schizophrenic mudra, so cool, so amazing. And I find that it's easiest to do lying down. Of course, you can do it sitting. You can do it a little difficult to do standing. And in Abhaya Varada, I put one hand up, which is my right hand. I put my left hand down. So my left hand is lying down. So when I'm sitting, my left hand, the tips of my left fingers are on the base of my chair. The perfect position for this is on the ground, Chongri Maki. Chongri Maki is Sukhasan, Indian cross leg, where the tips of your fingers touch the floor. But when you do this lying down, for 30 seconds, you're just gonna do this, okay? This, this also, it's down, but you're doing this. 30 seconds and go off to sleep and then you, along with telling me what happens with money tomorrow, are also going to let me know how well you slept, how fresh you feel, and how sharp your mind is feeling. By the way, does nobody have brain fog? Brain fog? Good job, brain fog. 
Good job, brain fog. Good job, brain fog. Well done. So good job, mental sharpness. Good job, mental acuity. Good job, mental prowess. Well done. Good job, mental dysfunctions. Good job, mental disorders. Good job, cognitive dysfunctions. Good job, cognitive disorders. Well done. Cognitive is the ability to understand. High cognition comes from, from very active and high levels of buddhi. Cognition is the ability to understand. When you have high grasping power, you have good cognitive prowess. Like sometimes when you're just, you're trying to explain to somebody all the time, they're just not getting it. Like they've heard you, you know it's gone through, but they're just not getting it because cognition is a little weak. Buddhi is not very strong. Dimag hai, buddhi jada nahi. And that's okay. Everybody has the right to be who they are. Some buddhis, we all have very, very good amounts of. Some buddhis, we don't. Not all of us is going to make a rocket. Not all of us is going to work in a bank. Not all of us is going to be an architect. Not all of us is going to be an artist. So we all have various kinds of buddhis. We all have the mark and various kinds of buddhis. One is not better than the other. Although in Mercury retrograde, the children are highly competitive. We will want that. I want to assert my superiority. I want to assert I am better than, than this boy. I want to assert that I am the leader of my pack. And by all means, let that translate into adult leadership. By all means, encourage this boss girl, this boss boy, and bring in the youngness and wiseness that is so available to us right now. Thank you, Neetu. Thank you so much. Thank you. And past this feeling tingles. I haven't read your, haven't read your comments in a while. And Bianca says, good job, uh, vitamins. Well done. Excellent. Good job, immune systems. Well done. Absolutely. Good job, virus. Well done. Drukshana, how is your brain fog right now? Sabina, how's your sense of brain fog right now? Now, the moment you're working on brain fog, first that brain fog is going to get a little, little more tense and tight. Okay, so it'll feel like it's gotten worse. It's going to pass. In barely a minute, minute and a half, it will pass. How are you feeling, Samina? How's your, how's your sense of brain? Yes, superb, superb, superb. In brain fog, the mentalness of mercury, very easy to misunderstand, you know, very easy to be misunderstood. I thought I explained to you what it was. It's that sentence, you know, let's eat mom. But let's eat mom is let's eat mom. It's like this, it's like this hilarious poster, adorable, it's one of my favorite posters in the world, where this boy is asked to write an essay on his dog. And this is what he does. <laughs> I cannot help but crack up every time I see this. Most important, or actually most loving, most adorable, please see child's face. Poor thing, right? Which is, you told me, write essay on dog. I wrote essay on dog. Now you're looking at me like I've done something wrong. I don't understand what's going on. But just look at this child. <laughs> look at this child. Or like the other one where, where a panda walks into a bar. Do you know this one? So this panda walks into the bar and he orders food and he gets his food and he chumps it all up, come, 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 belches, very satisfied, takes out a gun from his holster and shoots. Discount, 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 discount. Puts it back in the holster and walks out. Patrons are like, what just happened? And they're looking at the bartender like, 
what was this? And he says, well, it is part of the folklore. It is ancient jungle saying, which is eats, shoots, and leaves. However, it is eats, shoots, and leaves. So in Mercury retrograde, where, where we're thinking eats, shoots, and leaves, when it's actually eats, shoots, and leaves, the tendency to be misunderstood means you must be very clear in your communication as to what you are saying, what you are asking for, what you want done. Follow up is hard in Mercury retrograde, but if you have something going on that requires follow up, write it down, send a text, ask a friend to remind you to remind you to follow up, like follow us up with you to follow up, but clarity must exist, especially professionally. Otherwise, it's bang, 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 dishka, 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 and leaves is what is going to take place. So, good job, misunderstandings. Good job, misunderstandings. Good job, misunderstood. Well done. Good job, clarity. Good job, clear thinking. Good job, clear speaking. Good job, articulation. Good job, clear bowels. Good job, clear systems. Good job, clear pathways. Because your misunderstandings and the jam signals of communication will also show up in the traffic jams. So the moment you can say, good job, clear thinking, clear pathways, well done, you will notice you will hardly encounter any traffic jams. My son works in another city and he's been here for one and a half years, much to the delight of all of us, us father, you know, grandparents. He also has a stepmother and a stepbrother. I just loved having him back home. And he got a call that says, you guys got to come back home. And even though my son is very aware of Mercury retrograde, because, because we go through this, you know, he's 100% he's mercurial. So now I say, okay, child, I know what's going on. This is Mercury retrograde. You got to dial it back a bit. And then he's like, I don't want this urban voodoo and this Mercury retrograde is just ruining my life. So I know that there has been a knee-jerk reaction because that's, that's Mercury retrograde, right? You get impulsive. I want what I want. I don't know what I want, but I wanted yesterday. You get impulsive. So the company has asked for them to return and given them a date, bang, in the, in the first week of Mercury retrograde. And my son traveled yesterday. And, and I know, right, they've been delays, traffic jams, uh, and, and late night flight, not sure somebody will show up to pick him up, that there will be a coordination. He hasn't been in this city for the last one and a half years. We gave this whole set of decrees. Good job, stressed out. Good job, nervous. Good job, don't know how I'll manage. Good job, well done. And everything went smooth as a calm breeze and a quiet ocean. Went on time got his flight, reached on time, got the transport, reached to the place he had to reach. No hassle at all. Long, long back, first time when I started understanding Mercury retrograde and I didn't already know the decrees, there was a set of switch words I put together. And, and, this, and this particular set of switch words and those of you all who don't know what switch words are, switch words are not decrees, but they are words uh, that bypass the subconscious. They, they work in, in a much different way. And this particular set of switch words for Mercury retrograde has always held me in good stead. Everybody I have worked with invariably knows this particular set. And this particular set is reverse, restore, perfect, magic, chuckle, act, be. And we will put it down on the group. You will have it in your replay as well. Reverse, restore, perfect magic, chuckle, act, B. It's absolutely stupendous. Just one time in the morning, Mercury retrograde, you can leave now. Goodbye, Mercury retrograde. Good job, Mercury retrograde. Well done, alchemized. Reverse, restore, perfect magic, chuckle, act, B. You don't even have to do the whole set. Do whatever comes to your mind. Whichever one you can remember, you remember, because when you work with words, 
when you work with something as quick and swift as the decrees, when you're working with something that works at the speed of thought, it is better to not make it a factory assembly line. Whatever you remember, you do it. Good job, well done. Is everybody remembering this? Yes, right hand up, right hand up, harmonizing all elements and planets and doshas. Yes, Abhaya Varada, Gyan Mudra tapping, all fingers tapping. Simplest is the all tips, all fingers rubbing. Money in here and rubbing. Good job, money, good job. Well done, well done. And you see what happens. I left out the thumb work in the tapping. And for the thumb, it is you just tap very quickly inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. And done. And done. Just this much, one minute, one and a half minutes a day is enough for your health and your wealth and all of your systems, your chakras, your, your endocrines, your glands, your muscles, your stomach to start functioning well. You can do this as often as you like. And of course, please feel free to do good job, well done all day. The child will love it. You will love it and you will see immediately, however Mercury retrograde has been and it's built up to its birthday today, it will be that much simpler and easier from tomorrow. Remember my condition? You have to let me know what happens with money on the home Telegram group. And I'm going to catch you on other magic work that's currently going on with the decrees. I'm also going to catch you on laughing all the way to the bank. Ha, 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 ha on the 19th on the U-Wealth Tele Summit. But for now, you came here, you took action. I can't wait for you to see the stupendous results that you will have from having shown up. I trust everybody's feeling better. And I see I've taken quite a bit of your time. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> big love, big hug. Tons of super phenomenal buddhi. Namaste from India.